In this problem, we're told a mechanic pushes a 2.5 times 10 to the 3 kilogram car from rest to a speed of V, doing 5 times 10 to the 3 joules of work in the process. During this time, the car moves 25 meters. Neglecting friction between the car and the road, find A, V, and B, the horizontal force exerted on the car. So I went ahead and drew what was going on. So we have this car, right? It's at rest. This mechanic's going to push it a total of 25 meters, right? And then at this time, it's going to have some velocity, right? And that's what we're going to be solving for in one of the parts. Uh, we know the mass of the car. And we also know the work done, right? So the work done to do this. So let's go ahead and start with A. So A, we're trying to solve for V, right? So we want to find the V after it's been pushed 25 meters. So how do we do this? So in order to solve this, there's a few formulas you need to know and some general things. So the first thing is the formula for kinetic energy, right? So kinetic energy is uh, going to be some energy, right? And so the formula for it is 1 half mv squared. So this is the formula you can use in order to calculate kinetic energy, right? And so how do we solve for this? So there's another thing you need to know, which is about work. And so you need to know that work, so the work done, is equal to the change in kinetic energy, right? And what this means is if we know that the work is the change in kinetic energy and kinetic energy is equal to this, what we can do is go ahead and solve for V by doing it, right? So if work equals the change in kinetic energy, right? And we know the work done, right? The work is just going to be 5 times 10 to the 3. So if we want to calculate change in kinetic energy, when they say change, they're basically talking about the final kinetic energy minus the initial. Right, so it's basically just the kinetic energy final, right, which would be here, minus the initial, right, and so the initial would just be here, right, and so if we just write this out, the final, right, we just use the formulas, one half mv squared, and I'm just going to call it final, minus one half mv initial squared, right, so this is going to be the change in kinetic energy, and that's what we're trying to solve for, right, so what you should know about this, right, is it's one half mv squared for the initial. Right, but no initially, the initial velocity is zero, meaning V initial is just going to be zero. And if that's zero, right, this whole side, right, this whole thing is just going to become zero. So really, the change in kinetic energy is just going to be equal to one half MV final squared, right? And what's the change in kinetic energy? Well, that's equal to the work. And we know the work done is just five times 10 to the three. So five times 10 to the three is just 5,000. So 5,000 is going to be equal to one half times the mass, right, which is uh, this right here, right, 2.5 times 10 to the three, which is just 2,500. Right, and then multiply by the final velocity squared, which is v, what we're solving for, right? And you'll notice that v is just by itself now. So what we can do is just go ahead and solve. So what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and solve this, right? So one half, right, 0.5 times 2,500. If you go ahead and do that, just 1250. So 5,000 equals 1250 times v squared divided by 1250. So 5,000 divided by 1250 is just 4. So 4 equals v squared, square root of both sides. You're just going to get v equals 2. And then the units for this are just meters per second, right? Because uh, we're using joules, and when you set it equal to this equation, mass is kilograms, and then uh, velocity is in meters per second. So 2 meters per second, that's going to be the velocity or your answer to the first part, right? So this is A. Now what we want to do is solve for B. So B is going to be the horizontal force exerted on the car. So think about what we're given. We're given work and we're given mass, right? So we know work, right, equals force times distance times the cosine of theta, right? And think about what we know. We know, the, we know the work. We're solving for the force, right, the force exerted on the car. So that's the force. The distance is how far it travels, 25 meters. And then we know theta too, right? So theta is just the angle between where it's going and the force, right? And so the force is... We, we just know this is going to be equal to uh, 1, right? Because they're going in the exact same direction, the way the force is applied, and the direction it's going. So theta in this case is just going to be 0, meaning this is just going to be 1. So the work is really just going to be the force times the distance. So what's the force, right? That's what we're solving for. So if we go ahead and divide both sides by the distance, the force is going to be equal to the work, which we know is 5,000 joules, and then divide that by the distance, right? The distance is just going to be 25. So just do 5,000 and then divide it by 25. So when you do that, you're going to get the force equals uh, 200, and then it's going to be in newtons, right? Because this is in joules, and then this is in meters. So the force is going to be 200 newtons. That's going to be the force uh, exerted on the car by the mechanic. So this right here is your answer to B. This is your answer to A. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.